particular theme for the International Student Orientation was U.S. presidents, past presidents and the current president. Uh, they were able to see some of those in pictures uh, dating back even to the 18th century, which was very interesting. I'm Dean of Student Affairs here at the North Campus, and it gives me great pleasure to be able to espouse diversity here at Broward College. And what I mean by that is that we are truly an international college. When you look around the room, when you walk across the campus, and you see all the diversity that comes to us from all over the country, that is what it means to embrace diversity. And so we do holistically embrace diversity. challenges um, that I've been able to overcome. I don't know for most of you how long you've been here before school started, but I got off right off the plane, running straight to class. That's how it was for me. So there was no time to emotionally kind of get myself set for, okay, I'm here and I'm starting college in a week or any of that stuff. So I still have the jet lag. I still have the homesickness that probably went on for maybe what, a few months or so. To me, that was really hard. Most of those first days, I probably mopped my way around college. Um, how did I get to overcome that? Maybe I missed the international student orientation. I had to have a one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Teller. So I didn't know anything on campus. I was like a lost ship, really. Um, but what did I do? A few months down the road, I stumbled into student life and you know, got to know that they had all these different activities and events for students. And once I got involved, um, you have to know yourself. I was very happy to be able to be a part of the International Student Orientation and this is primarily because I was able to connect with the incoming students as well as have them be able to connect with their current students, students who are their peers. It was very important for them to hear from their peers how they benefited from their experiences and how they could maximize their success by taking advantage of the many resources here that we offer at Broward College. I do believe that when you hear and we're, when students hear from each other, it gives them a sense of comfort than it would necessarily hearing from someone outside that they probably wouldn't be able to relate to. Again, I was very thrilled to be a part of this exciting initiative. It's very important for us to continue to drive our students forward, to mentor them and to let them know that we are always here for them. It's important for international students to attend the orientation, um, mostly because they'll learn many, many things that they probably did not read in their acceptance packet. It makes their life easier at Broward College. Um, by not attending the orientation, they could miss something like, for example, dropping, not knowing that they are not allowed to withdraw from a class. They could have their student visa canceled. So by coming to the orientation, they just learn all the immigration regulations. They learn about student life. They learn about um, how to open their email account if they don't know. They learn, but mostly for the immigration part of it, they learn how to maintain their status. And we send them this information with their acceptance packet, and it's, it's a lot of things that are happening to them when they first arrive. It's very confusing. They're running all around, and they don't have time to, to take time to read this stuff to understand it. The email that we send you anytime there's a problem or an issue and we have to contact you, we use your Broward College email. So please look at your Broward College email. Right now we're in the middle of immigration reporting. We have to report to immigration within 30 days after the first day of classes whether you guys are full time and enrolled. I had a student the other day, he wasn't enrolled in any classes, he's still in his country. He said, well, I'm going to register for session four classes. 
that start in October. And he wasn't going to let us know. 30 days from the first day of the term is September 24th. The classes started August 24th. We would have terminated his I-20. The International Students Orientation is that it briefly introduces you to everything, all the different varieties that the school has to offer, and all the good things that you will encounter as your way through success here at Boyle College. And as being part of this orientation, you learned almost everything that you need to be successful here. And to be able to encounter all these things and go ahead and follow through these steps that you have to, then you'll be a successful student here at Boyle College. I, I would say that the international student orientation went very well today. Uh, the students uh, had a lot of fun and we were able to give them pertinent information on how they can maintain their F1 status while at Broward College.